Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, just wanted to make a quick video uh, to show a spray trailer I built. Um, some people might not know what a spray trailer is, but um, basically a nurse trailer to haul fertilizer, water, whatever, mixed spray to spray our crops. Um, everybody's got different ideas. I've watched a bunch of videos to get some ideas but I had some ideas of my own so I was just gonna make a quick video to uh, show how I did it all right yeah I do have a pile of trash here I haven't I'll give that up when I'm done spraying but I started with a rickety old I don't know I think it's like a 1982 trailer found on Facebook for what I thought was cheap the guy said it needed lights which the lights don't really work and it needed tires and brakes and it just it ain't in the best condition to make it roadworthy but i didn't need it roadworthy so i got that and uh i built a just a hitch it had a panel hitch i built this so i can pull it behind my tractor um it does have air brakes but they're old enough that they don't need pressure release so i just leave them unhooked and it's a 20 ton trailer so the thing's as heavy as i'll get it'll do everything i need anyway i got a 1100 gallon tank there and that's got my water in it um i got the out for that one over here and just leave it open that's a 1500 gallon tank and that's what i put nitrogen in or my nitrogen solution um then i have two totes in the front you can see i have them blocked up because i'm trying to clean them out i'm actually done spraying this stuff i'm just using it for a water tank right now but um anyways so i got water nitrogen uh i'd sulfur in this one and calcium in that one um that's the the uh, nutrients that we use um our manganese we use or magnesium not sure what the proper term is it was mandate but anyway that was in two and a half gallon jugs so um what i did is i bought me a bunch uh you can see three of these two inch banjo um v v band fittings um and four valves and i just have each tank running in here um leave those valves open and water this goes to my nitrogen straight back to my sulfur and over here to my calcium and this comes over here to my pump this is just a harbor freight trash pump two inch um i know a lot of people go two inch full pour or even three inch but we're just a small operation and this does everything i need um and then i come out of there to a banjo flow meter um found this on ebay for about a seventh of the new price so i um, was tickled with the purchase price not sure about the meter um I, i'm not sure how accurate it is i think if you have full flow all the time i think they're pretty accurate so if you've pumped 700 gallon of spray of water with no air bubbles i think it may be accurate um but if you go getting a bunch of air bubbles in there um, you know, if you got to switch tanks or something, I think it throws it off. And that's part of the advantage with having all this here. I can just, I can crack a valve and shut this one and, and hopefully not have any air bubbles to mess it up. Um, and that needs supposedly 20 inches full flow before and after. So I have some hoses here. Anyway, then I come from there with this expensive suction hose. It's pretty flexible over to my sprayer. And I got one of these easy fill valves. Um, they're sweet if you need one check at your local ICO dealer somebody messed up on the pricing and they're cheap really cheap um, I think somebody missed a zero on the end of the on the end of the price and we checked it was it was the price in the in the system but it was cheap <laughs> so um, I do not have my chemical inductor hooked up here I actually built the chem inductor right there but i messed up and made use the tank that was too small and it splashes when i cut a cut a jug on my on my chem blade um 
my sprayer does have a chem inductor on it and i also just put another modification on my sprayer the other day um this dude um it comes out of the fresh water tank over on that side and i just have a i'm I had it laying around. I think it's a five gallon a minute pump or something like that. Um, I just put a second switch here and I don't want to crack it cause I'm gonna get wet, but I will just a little bit. Yeah, I got kind of wet. So uh, that washes jugs out great, saves piles of time. Um, I just got a stainless, stainless elbow and short section of quarter inch pipe and Welded them in there. I got that through McMaster car. Um, that's sweet. Um, and also, off of that pump, it's a big enough pump. I just put me a piece of hose on here with a with a garden hose in. And if I need to rinse something, I mean it. It washes good. So that's what I do for my chem inductor. Um, when you, it's kind of slow, but when you speed the sprayer up, it sucks it in there about as fast as you can dump it out of a two and a half gallon jug so i have no complaints um it's not as nice as a chem blade but it, it works pretty good um so that's how i get my chem in um right now i'm spraying spraying helix um and one other feature i did here um you can see i turned this was originally pointing out this way i think but i turned it a quarter of a turn and what i can do is I think I'm gonna spill a bunch of water, but I wanna show you anyway. Um, that is a male, and this is a male. Let's flip this around, or basically just move that up. So now I can move, I can eliminate my flow meter I can hook this hose straight into here and I can pump out of a tank into any of these tanks. Um, I'll throw a clip in here. Um, I was pumping out of this big, oh, I dropped my phone. I was pumping out of that big tank right there, straight into this tank. And all I gotta do is move that up. Pump stays exactly where it was at. Um, works sweet. That was something I thought would be cool to be able to do rather than, you know, switching hoses around. I can I can pump into there. I can pump, um, yeah, I can pump whatever I want to. If, uh, if we get some, you know, we just get this delivered from our local co-op or whatever. And uh, I haven't got to try this out yet because like I said, I didn't get this built till I was about done spraying because we was waiting on our tanks. But he should be able to hook hook his uh, hose off his nurse truck straight onto here and pump one tote full of one thing and switch a valve and pump the next tote full of the next thing. So um, I think it will be sweet. Um, yeah, like I said, I wish I'd have got it done before, but I didn't. But my cousin who uses it too did get to use it, and he said it was sweet. He had he thought it worked real well, so not tooting my own horn i just it was something i kind of wanted to do and yeah that was my idea so um i'm sure it ain't like everybody would want it but works well for what we do thank you all for watching